Hi everyone. Right, I'm just going to show you this technique. It's like a resist technique. Um, but um, when my husband bought me this uh, stamp the other week, I remember why I wanted that one. <laughs> but it was uh, to do this pattern with. Okay. And how you do that is, take your piece, I'm doing it on card, but you can do it on chipboard, it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you. Uh, I did some uh, a while back that were like this using um, this particular stamp um, and I glossed them over with a varnish and that one's just doing two tone colours but uh, I will show you how to do it and what you need is a stamp cover that with your when I can find where I put it perfect medium just give it a dab over you've probably seen it done a few times but you can do these with different coloured backgrounds at the moment I'm just using black let me just make sure that's well inked up. And then I'm going to take the card and lay that onto the pattern. Just get my brayer. And just do that. And there's my pattern. Now I've got mine need, needed cleaning to be honest. So uh, I'm sorry about that. Take uh, your tray, pop that in the tray, and then I'm using clear um, embossing powder. Now what you can use, mine's a bit dirty actually, what you can use is white. I, uh, I don't have any white, but I wish I did actually. Pop that on there. Lift that up. Put that to one side. Take your heat gun. Then what you need to do is to take your paintbrush or whatever you're using, use a sponge or something, just wipe your mind clean a bit. And then all you're doing is just covering the whole picture or card, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm just showing you how to do it um, with your colour, which can be any colour. It doesn't have to be black. And then what you need to do then is just take your uh, cloth. I'm just using a bit of tissue just for now and just wipe that clean I mean you can wait until it's um, dried a little bit but then I'm using acrylic paints so I need to get it off like that and just wipe that clean and in a minute I'll show you because you can clean that up a bit more by wetting your tissue just to clean it up but I'm just showing you the technique and there you go but you can do any colour um, and then just wipe it clean I absolutely love this you know, and that in the corner of a page or, or you know, a, a tag or something, I think it would be absolutely fantastic. So it's just another technique to show you. Now what I will do is show you um, another one, just so you got the hang of it. And this one's going to be of the Geisha Girl. Um, now what you can do, I, I'm going to do it with the Glimmer Mist this time. <sighs> Drop the lid. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just sprinkle them. This is my own Glimmer Mist. This is the purple. Should actually have it in a tub, but I'm... Not, I haven't done it. Somebody find the girls. I've got the girls with me, and they're just waiting for their dad to pick them up. But I've lost the lid somewhere. Never mind. Oh, it'll be around. Never mind. Um. So what I'm going to do now, anyway, is just to dry this. So if you just basically wanted it for a background for a tag and just rub that once you've done that and then you've got that so you can use it as a background on a page or a tag so you don't have to use paint but I'll just show you the effect again this is done with paints and this is done with sprays 
You could actually use chalks or anything.